looking here, Ness's Pow just sent me this six in one solar panel connector with a Y branch for a second parallel panel. Let's check this thing out. Now I currently have the Knable connected to my EcoFlow River 2 using the XT60 connector. It's not that sunny out today. I'm only getting about 10 watts out of this 100 watt panel. I'm using the yellow XT60 with my EcoFlow solar generator, but a lot of other solar generators out there use these barrel connectors or the Anderson connector. So if you have this cable, you should be good for just about every one out there. So with this cable, you can take just one cable and charge multiple different solar generators. Here's a complete list of the connectors. Now on the other side of the cable, you have standard solar connectors, positive and negative. So I connected this up to my Renergy 100 watt flexible solar panel and the EcoFlow started to charge. Now this kit also came with parallel branch connectors to add a second solar panel to your setup. Why would you want to run your solar panels in parallel? For one reason, if one of the panels gets some shade during the day, then running them in parallel will perform better. But when you look at the specs of my EcoFlow River 2, it says a maximum voltage of 30 volts. While my solar panel has an operating voltage of 19.4 volts, so I could not run these in series. I'd go over the maximum input voltage for the EcoFlow. But if I run it in parallel, I'll maintain that 19.4 volts. I'll just double the amperage. Now the EcoFlow has a maximum input of 110 watts, but it allows for over paneling. With the single 100 watt panel, I'm seeing about 60 watts average. So if I add a second panel in parallel, I'll pretty much max out the 110 watts on this EcoFlow all the time that it's in the sun. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.